blog posts. I have like a whole list of videos I'm going to start filming. Like this week is my filming week and I'm going to be uploading a ton of videos for you guys. And I really hope you enjoy them. So this video, as you can tell by the title, is how to save up for an American Girl doll or how to save up money if you're going to the American Girl place in general. But before we get into all of that juicy information, I need to inform you on two meetups I'm going to be having this summer. One is July 11th at the American Girl Place Chicago. The co-host is going to be agfangirly86 on Instagram. I'll link her uh, Instagram down below. Go follow her. She's amazing. And it is going to be at 12 o'clock in the book section. We are going to meet at the book section. This is the first uh, AG store on my trip. And I'm not going to be bringing a doll on my trip, but I will be purchasing a doll at the American Girl Place Chicago. So any of you that come will be the first to see her help me with name suggestions and everything. And it will be so fun. I will be uploading a vlog for... Uh, the AGP Chicago and the American Girl Place Mall of America which is on July 15th at 12 a.m. is that right? No, 12 noon um, and I don't know if I'm going to combine the vlogs, I'll see how long they are or how much footage I have but anyways the July 15th one is going to be at 12, 12 o'clock noon and uh, we're going to meet in the book section and uh, we're going to vlog and stuff, take photos, like, um, and the co-host for that meetup is going to be ag underscore dolly fun on Instagram, and I'll link her Instagram, uh, down below as well. Go follow her, she's also amazing, and I'm super excited. If you can come to either one of them, please comment down below which one you can come to, so that I have, um, kind of like a head count of how many people and how many gifts I need to bring. So that is all the updates I have for you guys. Um, and like I said, I will be uploading a bunch of videos uh, summer time because I have like a whole list and I think that they're really cool and original ideas. So um, I will be filming you and keep like subscribing and liking my videos. And I would really like 100 subscribers by like August 15th, like by the time I go back to school. That would be totally amazing so don't forget to tell your friends about my channel and let's get into the how to save up for an American Girl doll okay so first I'm going to give you guys some um ideas I have to uh, make money so the first one is setting up a babysitting business now you can make flyers on the computer and uh, you can hang them up at your neighborhood's mailbox and you will just wait with your phone wait for the call when someone wants a babysitter and you can get paid for that. It depends on how much you want to charge um, and if you really love kids and hanging out with kids then it's a great way to make money and also have fun at the same time. So I did that. The next way is to do extra chores around your house if your parents do give you money for chores. Another way is uh, saving up the money that you get from birthdays or like um, as for me, I got a bit of money for graduation from middle school, so you can always save that up. And if you know you're going to the American Girl store soon, like after your birthday or anything, make sure to save a, a, like a good portion of your birthday money for the American Girl store. Of making money is selling old things on Craigslist, eBay, or Etsy even. Or you could also make stuff if you're like really crafty and stuff. You could open up an Etsy shop and sell some items. tricks that I have to get money and to make money. Now I'm going to be moving on on how to save that money and try not to spend it a lot. The very first step for saving up for an American Girl doll is finding a goal that you want to save. Um, I created a goal and um, I put it on a chart and also this chart is great for keeping track of all the money.
how you can keep track of your money and of your goal to uh, save money for the American Girl Store. Now I'm going to show you how to separate your money for the American Girl Store and all your other money into one separate jar. Okay, so I have this pink mason jar. It's really big, but I think it's great for storing money. And um, this is my jar for the American Girl Store. And I do recommend clear so you can see how much you have. Um, but, I mean, if you don't have a clear one like I do, this works just as well. So in here I just have two checks and I have yet to cash them in. But um, every time that I get money, I'll just slip it in here and right before my trip, I'll take all the money that's in this jar and put it in one wallet and I'm good to go. American Girl doll, I always love to do these steps because um, when I buy the American Girl doll, I love to think that I actually worked for it and I've been saving up for it instead of just like getting money from a checking account or anything. So it's a really good feeling when you buy a doll and you know that you've been saving up for this. I think it's way better than just like going to the American Girl store and like swiping your credit card like. So that's all the tips and tricks that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I helped you maybe with um, purchasing that new doll in the future. And I'm looking forward to seeing some of you at my meetups. Remember to comment down below. If you already forgot the dates, um, no worries, I'll leave it in the description box. And I hope all of you have a great week and be on the lookout for new videos from this channel. Bye.